three months after the D-Day invasion of France during World War II, a massive explosion rocks a quiet neighborhood in West London. The blast kills three people, wounds 22, and leaves a 30-foot crater in the ground. The mystery explosion is first thought to be caused by a gas main leak, but people soon learn it's the result of a terrifying new weapon created by German scientists and unleashed by order of Adolf Hitler. It's called the V-2 rocket and nicknamed the Vengeance Weapon. Fired from far away in hidden locations, the rockets are prepared by a unit of German artillery specialists like Franz Stoller. Also, so, uh, war eine Wunderwaffe, ja. Also technisch gesehen war es ein Wunderwerk da. Germany in wartime had really advanced technology. They were desperately looking for the thing that could turn the tide of the war. The V-2 rocket has a range of 200 miles and stands almost 46 feet high, taller than a three-story building. It is the first long-range guided missile in the world. It was a good way to get 2,200 pounds of explosives to a target. It just followed a path until it crashed into the ground and exploded. Traveling at four times the speed of sound, the supersonic rocket approaches its target in silence. The victims never hear it coming. When it lands, the massive explosion is powerful enough to obliterate an entire city block. Dass man am Tag drei, vier Mal angeschossen, wo der runterkommen uns ja auch egal. The V-2 rockets are built underground through a top-secret Nazi program. Schweigen ist erst das Gebot. Jeden Tag muss man unterschreiben, dass man keine Briefe oder sonst was, keine Fotografien und so weiter machen. Und alles, was hier passiert, Schweigeverbot. To save costs on production, the Germans use slave labor. Over 60,000 political prisoners, POWs and Jews, victims of Hitler's genocidal holocaust, are brought from the Buchenwald concentration camp. They are forced to work in and build the underground tunnels where the rockets are constructed. Thousands die from the brutal conditions. In an effort to make the rockets less effective, the bravest of the prisoners attempt to sabotage them, even at the threat of execution. They have a lot of sabotage. Also, and then auf schlechtes Material, zum Teil vielleicht, man weiß ja nicht. Das war unberechenbar. And as a result, many of the rockets fail to launch, often with disastrous consequences. Also, when abgeschossen wurde, 150 meter, that was mindestens Sicherheitsabstand. Without the benefit of today's GPS-guided rocket technology, the V-2 has to be carefully aimed on the ground toward the direction of its target. Once launched, an onboard guidance system helps the rocket maintain its path of trajectory during flight. This system consists of two gyroscopes, freely moving rings and discs that pivot around an axis. As the rocket moves, the main axis of the gyroscope disc remains stable. Data recorders measure the movement of the rocket's gyroscopes against their stable axis, which determines the rocket's position. This data is sent electronically to controls in the rocket's fins, which make slight corrections to elevation and direction, preventing it from losing control and crashing. But the gyroscope is still primitive and does not have much bearing on where the rocket ultimately lands. You could be relatively accurate. You could hit something like London, but you'd have a hard time hitting a specific block within London. 30 kilometers hin and her, the boy, circus, that was gang and gäbe. When you da oben raus, what then? Come on, son, die, die kommt irgendwo runter. Most of the rockets are fired from hidden locations and aimed at the cities of London, England, and Antwerp, Belgium. They cause massive damage, inflicting heavy casualties on the civilian population. In London alone, the rockets claim over 2,700 lives. By May 1945, near the end of the war, the Nazis launch over 3,000 V-2 rockets. Das Geschoss kann man sehen und dann den Flammenstab kann man sehen am Himmel dann den Schein beobachten und dann wird's Ende. Also das Schub war ein Meisterstück. The technological advancement of the V-2 rocket proves successful as a terror weapon, but Germany is unable to stop the wave of Allied forces. 
Germany's role in World War II and its decision to use the vengeance weapon against civilians still haunts artillery specialist Franz Stolle. Was hat uns der Krieg gebracht? Nur Verluste. An Menschen, Material und an Land. Und die anderen haben gewonnen. Ne? With Germany's surrender, the Allies confiscate the remaining V-2 rockets and liberate the surviving laborers living in their concentration camps, bringing to an end one of the worst atrocities in history. <laughs>